Okay, so here in Excel, we're going to learn about what's called a nested if function. Although it's not a function on its own, it's just a number of ifs in one long pattern. I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you, okay? So we already know the basic if function, okay? So if this is true, then do that. Otherwise, do something else. That's the, the argument that we get. So if, and then we have a test. And if the test is true, then we tell it what to do. Otherwise, we tell it what to do if it is not true. I hope that's making sense. So have a look here. Here we have, uh, in terms of uh, runners in a marathon, and we're going to determine if the runners are going to leave in the first group or in the second group. And if they haven't been allocated a group, then they need, they need to be allocated. So that's going to be in our experience column, XP. So for example, if the person here, okay, if the experience is experience one, XP is one, then they're going to be in the first group. Otherwise, if it is a number two, they're going to go in the second group. If it is anything else, it will be to allocate. So let me explain how we work this out. I, I like to talk it through. So here we go. Have a look here. I'm going to just show you. There it is there. Right. So if XP is one, then the runner is in the first group. Otherwise, if XP is two, then the runner is in the second group. Otherwise, they need to be allocated. So here you can see I've got sort of three things that are happening. Two conditions and then the last thing that happens if those two conditions are not met. The first one is if XP equals one. And then what do we do if XP equals one? The runner is in the first group. Otherwise, we do another test. We go, right, well then, if XP equals two, what do we do if XP equals two? Then the runner is in the second group. What do we do if they're not in the second group? Otherwise, they need to be allocated. So now I'm going to show you what does that look like, like here. So if we were to break this down, we'd have it like this. If C3, okay, so C3 is the experience cell. If C3 equals one, then it's going to be the first group. We write the words first group. Now, do you see when I say then, there's a comma there. All right, on your computer, it might be a semicolon. Depends on your regional settings. So if C3 equals one, then write first group. Otherwise, so what do we do? If we tested this and it ain't working, otherwise, if C3 now equals two, if it equals two, then, there's my comma, then write the words second group. Otherwise, if it doesn't equal one and it doesn't equal two, all that's left is to allocate. Write the words to allocate. Let's have a look now if we use cell references instead. So if C3 equals F1, so what is in F1? F1 is the number. So if C3, which is the XP, equals F1, that's the number one or number two, then G2, G2 is first group. Otherwise, if C3 equals F2, F2 is the number two in the cell, then it's G3 expand that otherwise it's g4 which is to allocate and of course you know now i mean if we're going to drag this down and we're going to copy this down for all of the runners then we need to use some absolute cell referencing because if we're referencing cell f1 and cell f2 and g2 and g3 and g4 if we're referencing those all the time then they need to be absolute so if we actually had to make it completely absolute, it would look like this. If C3 equals F1, which is absolute, then G2. Otherwise, if C3 equals F2, then G3. Otherwise, G4. Now, if all this is sounding a bit like Greek to you, don't stress. I'm going to take you through it now one step at a time. Have a look. So here we have our first runner. XP is two, experience is two. What group are they gonna be in? So based on this, we're gonna write either first group, second group, or to allocate. So here we go, equals if. That's our first starting point, equals if. So what are we gonna do? The easiest thing is just click on the cells that you wanna reference. Don't type it in, it takes so long. So if C3, 
That's where the C3 came from. If C3 is equal to 1. Now, I'm, going, I'm not going to write the word 1. The, the word 1, the letter, the, word, the, the number <laughs> 1 is already there. It's in F2. There it is there. So I'm going to just reference that. I'm also going to make sure that I press the F4 key. Make that an absolute sole reference because I know that that's not going to change. So if C3 does equal 1, then... You see, I've put my comma in now to go then, and you can see it's asking me, so if it is true, what do I do? Well, then it's going to be first group. And I don't have to type the words out. I can just click on that cell because it's already got the words in it. Again, absolute. Otherwise, now in a normal standard if statement, we would now say what to do if that was false. But we still want to do another test. So we start off with if again, not equals if, just if. We start off with if again. Otherwise, if, so now we do another test. If xp is equal to 2. Now, 2 is um, f2, so I'm going to have to, going to have to, f1, f2, I'm going to have to like type that in somehow. So if c3 equals f3, obviously I can't click on f3 because this is in the way, but there it is, there it is, a little green there behind me. If c3 equals f3, made it absolute, then it's going to be the second group, which is uh, absolute. Right, now, what do I do if c3 is not equal to f2, and if c3 is not equal to f3, then all that is left is that cell over there to allocate. That's all that's left. Let's test this and see what it does. Okay, absolute again. Don't forget, I keep forgetting that part. Mustn't remember, mustn't forget. Right, so uh, to close off our brackets here, or our parentheses, we've got open one, open the number two. So I only need two to close. So one, two. There we go, and enter. Perfect, it is working. Let's have a look. So two is the second group. Let's drag that down one. 2 is the second group, two, and we'll drag it down to we see a 1, there's a 1 there, 1 is the first group. I'm going to drag it down a little more because you can see there's a 0 there, and obviously they have no XP, so to allocate, my function is now working. And that, it looks a little complicated, but if you talk yourself through it, if you just talk through the logic of it, it actually makes perfect sense.